A life of reconciliation. And reconciliation means to restore a relationship. Reconciliation means to restore a relationship. Reconciliation means to restore a relationship. Yeah. Yeah. A rec uh, uh, to restore a relationship between two persons. And this relationship is between God and man. And it's to restore a blood relationship between God and man. Okay. And so let us stand and read the first scripture. Second Corinthians chapter 5. And verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away. All things become new. And all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ. And has given to us the ministry of reconciliation. Now, which I'm going to yes, Christ, you know, to our own say, Kugaruka, Kugaruka, and you could see it up, Uko, Ukwa, Ukwa, Ibiya, Chile. God has reconciled us to Himself, Iman, I have to Garuka, and you could be when by Jesus Christ, Muri, yes, Christ, and now He has given us. The ministry of reconciliation. To witness that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their transgressions. Not imputing their trespasses into them, and has committed to us the word of reconciliation. Amen. God reconciled us in Christ. And now we who are reconciled. Have a ministry of reconciliation. Amen. Okay. And he says, Now then, as we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead be reconciled to God. Okay, you read that. Verse 20. Okay. Okay. And so our our subject here is the light of reconciliation. Uh Notice the ministry of reconciliation. God in Christ reconciling God in man. By the blood of the cross. And now Christ in you. 
reconciling the sinner to God. By the life of the cross. By the life of the cross. Being reflected through you. Amen. 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 Then this brings us to 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 5. Yes, And he, he says, and if, if they can read it in their language. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your servants for Jesus' sake. For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness and has shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Amen. You may be seated. So Paul tells us what we've been reconciled back to. We've been reconciled back to God, but more specifically, we've been reconciled back to the light of God. Amen. Amen. Our relationship with Almighty God is a relationship with the light of eternal life. Amen. And Paul said, we have this treasure in earthen vessels. We have this treasure in earthen vessels in our hearts. Amen. Okay. And, and this a treasure is something of great value. And that value of this light in you it's the, it's the value of eternal life. And that eternal life is the power of the resurrection. Amen. Okay. 
It's the power of the resurrection. Because before you were reconciled to Christ, you were dead in sins and trespasses. Okay. And so we were subject to spiritual death and physical death. And so by being reconciled back to the light of life, we have the power of the resurrection in us. Amen. First, for a spiritual resurrection. Amen. And then when this light grows in you and becomes greater and greater in you more and more in you until it comes to the full stature of light Amen. and when it comes to the full stature of light that's the power that will change these bodies and that will overcome physical death. Amen. And this is the only age from Adam until now that sees the complete cycle of reconciliation. This is the only age where your soul is reconciled by his divine nature of the light. Your spirit is reconciled by the divine character of the light. And your body is reconciled by the divine love or the capstone of life. Amen. Amen. So it's not something that we're talking about. It's something that God is manifesting. Amen. Amen. This light of reconciliation. And so this, this light in us is a great treasure. Yeah. So you could have diamonds and gold and silver and precious stones and have a great life on earth. But unless you have the light of life, you are dead. And when this life ends, You'll go back to the darkness that you reflected when you were here. And if you have the light of life, like my brother Larry, when he left here, he went back to his theophany. Amen. It's manifested uh, as a ministry of reconciliation. So you feel free to help him. It's okay. Yeah, sometimes. And so first, 
the ministry of reconciliation it started with God in Christ amen the light in Christ God that eternal light became flesh mm -hmm. to reconcile God and man mm -hmm. by the cross mm -hmm. to manifest himself Amen. 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 the light of the Lamb. Amen. 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 God, that great light. Amen. God is light. Amen. Eternal light. Amen. He became flesh Amen. to manifest himself as the light of the Lamb. Amen. 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 So that when you're reconciled back to the light, mm -hmm. the light in you, then you have a ministry of reconciliation mm -hmm. to reflect through your life. The same light of the Lamb. What is the light of the Lamb? I am crucified with Christ. Amen. Nevertheless, I live. Mm -hmm. Yet not I. But Christ lives in so I'm not preaching myself. Paul said I'm not preaching myself. But I'm preaching what Christ has made me. I am preaching what he has made me. And how can I preach what he made me if my life doesn't reflect? Okay. Amen. There are many symbols of God in the Bible. The bread of life. The tree of life. The seed of life. The waters of life. Many symbols of God in the Bible. But what he is. In his substance. He is the light of eternal life. That's what he is. He is light. Like this picture of light. Okay. Amen. So he is. So he is light. And so we want to focus on not the symbols of the light, but the pillar of fire himself. Amen. The light of eternal life. Amen. Amen. This pillar of fire that Moses saw in the burning bush. And you can see it in the Ten Commandments. And, and do you know that when Brother Branham went to see the Ten Commandments, when he went to watch the movie, the Ten Commandments, and Moses met the pillar of fire in the burning bush. He, he stood up. And he took off his hat. Because they captured it so real. Amen. That light radiating out. Amen. So this pillar of fire. He had a secret. He had a secret. A great secret. And he kept it to himself. And the secret was 
of how he wanted to express this light. Amen. He wanted to express himself as a father. Mm. He wanted to express himself as a husband. Mm. As a father, he wanted to express himself as the father of light. Okay? Amen. Amen. As the father of light. Amen. And as a husband. Amen. The husband. Of the new Jerusalem. The bride. Mm -hmm. The city. Where the lamb is the light. Amen. 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 So he wanted to express himself as father through the children of light. Amen. And I'm the husband through the new Jerusalem that city where the lamb is the light. And this was his great secret. Is how he would do it. <laughs> how he would express this light. Mm. And his secret was he would become a savior. Mm. His secret was he would become a savior. And so his secret was was this pillar of light mm. Would become the light of the Lamb. Mm. It's simple. Mm. Take it into your heart. Mm. This pillar of fire mm. would become the light of the Lamb. Mm. In other words, mm. this pillar of fire who was the living word would become flesh mm -hmm. in Christ mm -hmm. to be offered as a lamb mm -hmm. so that the living word mm -hmm. the living word mm -hmm. the pillar of fire mm -hmm. would become mm -hmm. the bleeding word. Exactly. Amen. 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 It would become the bleeding word. Mm -hmm. And the only way he could bleed was to become a man. Mm -hmm. And it had to be a perfect man mm -hmm. to, reflect a, to reflect a perfect light for reconciliation. Amen. 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 And so then he had this secret. And when he came to Israel, to the Jews, he came as son of man. Mm. Which means he came as a prophet. Because Moses said, the Lord your God will raise up a prophet like me. Mm -hmm. And what did Moses do? Moses He reflected the pillar of fire. Amen. He reflected the great I am. Mm -hmm. Which was the power of their jubilee. Mm -hmm. But in Moses he could only foreshadow the reconciliation. Because Moses was born sexual. But the real sign, the real jubilee sign, was a virgin shall conceive. A virgin shall conceive. Amen. Amen. And, and, and she would give birth to a spoken word seed. Amen. 
And that would be the beginning mm-hmm. of the new creation. Mm-hmm. The new creation so that he could reconcile you back from the darkness of a sexual seed from the darkness of a sexual seed from the darkness of a sexual seed to the light of a spoken word seed. He would reconcile you from the darkness mm-hmm. and the life mm-hmm. of the old creation mm-hmm. to the light Amen. and life of the new creation. Amen. 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 And so when he came to Israel, Israel he said, when the Son of Man is lifted up, when the Son of Man is lifted up on the cross, then you'll know that I am He. He said this in John 8, 28. You said you he said you'll know that I am he. And the King James Version said you'll know that I am he. Amen. But the original Greek says when I'm lifted up, you'll know that I am. Amen. Amen. You'll know that I am. And I am was the pillar of fire and the burning bush. And when Moses went to Egypt, he said, I am sent me. Amen. But when Jesus came to Israel, Amen. he said, the Father sent me. But the Father was the I am. Amen. Amen. And it blinded Israel. And, 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 and they were hostile to Jesus. They were hostile with him. They were angry. They said, who are you? He said, the same I told you from the beginning. I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. So here's the secret. When I'm lifted up on the cross, then you know me the great I am mm-hmm. you'll know the father mm-hmm. of lights mm-hmm. you'll know him mm-hmm. as a child of light mm-hmm. you'll know him as a child of light mm-hmm. by Christ the light of the lamb mm-hmm. Amen. 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 There's the secret. The fire on the cross reflected the light of the And Jesus said, When you know me, you know my father. Amen. Amen. How do I know the Father? As a child of light. Now I go forth with a ministry. With a testimony. Be reconciled to God. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Amen.
praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So let me read you what Brother Branham said about this light. I'm reading from the message Revelations chapter 4. Chapter 4. Yeah. That great jewel, what was it? Yeah. It's a diamond. Yes. It was perfect. perfect. It was the age of 33 and a half years old. When God put it through the big bumping machine. He took it off when he took it over there and began to shape it up. He cut it. He mashed it. He was wounded for our transgression. Bruise for our iniquity. Mm. Bruise, bruise. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with the stripes we were healed. So he's using the illustration of a diamond. And for, before a diamond can reflect the fire of its light, it has to be cut. And what did God do to that perfect man? There's only one of them in all the world, only one in the world, and that was him. And God chiseled him off there. God chiseled him off there. He was wounded for our transgression. And, and he says this, because I was a sinner, he let that rainbow light of the seven church ages flash upon me. It's very important, the rainbow. Okay. So, when he took him to the cross and he crucified him, then that perfect man began to reflect a rainbow light out of the pillar of fire. Came seven rays of light. And Brother Branham says, because I was a sinner, he let the rainbow light of his seven ages flash upon me. Oh, yeah. To let me know he was wounded for my transgression. There's your seven colored rainbow. In other words, the pillar of fire. At the cross, became the light of the Lamb, and the bleeding word, the light of the Lamb, that strikes you, is a rainbow light. Amen. And that's the light of reconciliation. Amen. Amen. 
That's the light of reconciliation. Is that rainbow light? Amen. Now Paul said, we preach not ourselves. Paul wasn't preaching what Paul wasn't preaching himself. But Paul was preaching what Christ had made him. He was a child of the light. And he was one of the seven messengers. One of the seven messengers. That reflected that rainbow light. In other words, those seven messengers had the ministry of reconciliation. Amen. Amen. And all of those that were predestinated to the light of their age, they reflected the same light their messenger reflected. And so through seven church ages, this light of the Lamb was unfolding in the bride. The New Jerusalem, that city, the bride, was unfolding the light of the Lamb. Showing that she was being reconciled more and more back to the light from yeah. faith to virtue to knowledge to temperance to patience to godliness to brotherly kindness you see the light that struck you and reconciled you to the light of the Lamb and now you've been walking in this same light as a testimony you've raised spiritually from the dead and you're walking back to the light of the perfect day. So that when you come into this light, it's the power of a physical resurrection. It's the power of your complete reconciliation. Amen. From a sexual seed back to a spoken word seed. Amen. 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 And so we find out in our age, here we are with the seventh messenger. And the seventh messenger, he has the same testimony Paul had. He's not preaching William Branham. No, he's, he's preaching the revelation of what God has made him in Christ. And now we see in the seventh angel the complete light of reconciliation. The complete light of reconciliation. 
And that's why you saw the creation of squirrels. You, you saw the power of the creative word. Amen. Amen. Because God had brought a man back to the full stature of the light. Amen. Amen. That's exactly the light that Adam had in the beginning. And so we come back to the same light. Little by little. More and more. Brighter and brighter. And more power. And that's where we're living. And you might say, well. Why did God choose William Branham? Who do you want him to choose? Who do you want him to choose? Huh? Mm -hmm. Why did he choose Paul? Why did he choose Moses? Why did he choose Elijah? Listen very carefully. The light of reconciliation. Amen. That's God's choice. Amen. That's His choice. Amen. That's His choice. Amen. And then He gives you a choice. Amen. You can accept His choice. Or you can reject it. Amen. 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 And from the very beginning, God showed Cain and Abel. It's the light of the Lamb. Amen. 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 And so in this last age, I'm going to close. When Brother Branham came to this light, at Sunset Mountain, he was lifted up into this light to restore by breaking open the seven seals by breaking open the seven seals, the total light of the Lamb, the total light of the Lamb reflecting through a man, and what was he reflecting? The light of a perfect man. So we're not preaching William Branham. We're not preaching Paul. We're preaching the mystery of the light of Almighty God. And here it's unfolded all the way to the end time. To show you the marriage of the Lamb. Amen. Is at hand. Amen. The church ages, they ended in total darkness. They ended in total darkness, which was apostasy. They rejected the word of grace. When, when Brother Branham stood between the, the, the oneness and the Trinity, to try to show them the real truth of Acts 2.38. The real truth of the water baptism. The real truth of a sanctified life. 
the real truth of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And they rejected it because their denomination was teaching the doctrine of Cain. Amen. What is the doctrine of Cain? He's going to substitute something. He's going to substitute something to take the place of God's perfect will. And that's what Cain did. God showed him the mystery. It's the blood of the Lamb. And he rejected it. And so every age that God sent the light of reconciliation, Satan came behind it. And he and he substituted something for that light. And so Luther was that light of that age. And God was trying to restore the water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. But what happened? Luther still had a name that he lived but was dead. What was it? He was baptized in the titles. A Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Three persons in the Godhead. There's not three persons in the Godhead. There's only one person. How many lights are in the Godhead? How many lights are in the garden? There's only one light. There's only one light. Who is the Father? The pillar of fire. Who is the Son? The light of the Lamb. And who is the Holy Ghost? The children of light. Amen. The children of light. Amen. They are the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. They are the testimony Amen. that the light of the Lamb Amen. has reconciled him back Amen. to the pillar of fire. Amen. Amen. Because we were always there. Amen. Amen. And so God at the end time, when he lifted up the seventh messenger, to unite with the capstone of light, unite. the perfect light, Brother Branham told us that this light was reflecting the cross. Now I'll read that and we're finished. Souls in prison. That's the message. Souls in prison now. What was that vision give me as a little bitty boy out yonder? And I went west. Like east, west, north, south. West. Okay. And he says, and there is the golden cross of the gospel shining down. And Shining down has declared the sign from heaven. And 
The, remember, the cross was in a panoramic like a pyramid. And he says, could it be the head part where it's ended? It started from here and it come up to the headship. Like the pyramid, come up through Luther, Wesley, Pentecost, and then the capping of the stone. So what happened? When the church, when 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 the moon darkened out, to show the light was rejected. Then God brought the prophet into the capstone of light to manifest or restore the light of reconciliation. Or restore that light of reconciliation by breaking open the seven seals so that you could see before you the stature of a perfect man the witness the witness that man has been reconciled all the way back to the Amen. 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 So you're living in a great hour. You're living in a great hour. We have a ministry of reconciliation. In that ministry of reconciliation is Christ in me reflecting the light. Amen. 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 And that light through me has to come through the cross. The light in me came through the cross. Okay. Now the, the light in me came through the cross. But the light from me to you also has to come through the cross. Your cross. You have to die daily you have to die daily in order to reflect the light of the Lamb to reflect to the sinner the light of faith the light of virtue the light of patience the light of kindness Amen. You have to do that mm -hmm. to have the ministry of reconciliation. You have to die daily because a sinner or a brother or a sister or a family member they may have done something wrong to you. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. They may have done something wrong to you. And it causes you pain. It causes you suffering. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? It causes you pain. It causes you suffering. But listen. If you don't forgive, he won't forgive you. Amen. So watch. In order for Christ to reflect that light to you, your own life caused him much suffering. 
Chane, it caused him to die and to be crucified mm-hmm. to reconcile you to God. Mm-hmm. And the bride of Christ, mm-hmm. in order to reconcile sinners mm-hmm. and people that are at odds with one another, mm-hmm. you're going to have to suffer. You're going to have to pray. You're going to have to groan. You're going to have to cry to the Lord to say, Lord, let me crucify my feelings and my thoughts so that your light will shine to them and bring reconciliation. God bless you. Amen. 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 But the dark as well not be familiar with that picture. Amen. This picture was taken in uh, 1963. 1963. 1963, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, amen. So it was in around February to March period, amen. Amen. The person who took it around 28th of February 1963. It plays a great significance in the word of God. Amen. When the word of God is spoken, if it remains the word of God spoken, it just remains the word of God. But when the word of God comes to pass, 
it makes it becomes a light. When God said, let there be light, before there was that light, it was just the word of God. But when that word of God became light, then it was light to be seen. Amen. So when Amen. God says something, when it comes to pass, it becomes the light of God. Amen. Amen. And in Revelation chapter 10, Amen. God said there was going to come a time when the book, the book, the word of God was going to be opened. This book of the word of God was filled up with seven seals. And you read that in Revelation chapter 5. And there was no man in heaven, no man on earth, no man under the earth, worthy to open the book. Amen. But the lion of the tribe of Judah was found worthy to open the book. Amen. And when John was being told about that book being sealed, he cried out. Because in the book of life, which is the word of God, there is the redemption of all men. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And because the book carried our names written in the book of life. And no man was willing to find to open the book. Amen. And all of us were going to die. Amen. But the lion of the tribe of Judah lion of the tribe of Judah Amen. The lion. Uh, in ham, in ham. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When he turns, expecting to see a lion, Amen. He saw a lamp that had been slain. Amen. Amen. And that was the lamp of God. That takes away the sins of the world. And that was Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ was the only one who was worthy to go and take the book and open it up for you and I to receive eternal life. Amen. And then when that book comes to Revelation chapter 10, we saw a mighty angel come down. And when that mighty angel comes down, he is going to book open. And he puts his feet on the land. And he spit on the sea. And he cries out. And when he cries out, seven thunders utter their voices. A thunder is like when you are having pain. We are from Africa, most of you are. When you have those, when you have those rains, it just that's the thunder. Amen. But those thunders, it just boom. Seven times. And when it was doing so, the voices were coming out. And John was about to write. Mm. Mm. That did not. Mm. Amen. Amen. But when, the, but when there is a man who is going to talk about this, and in chapter 10, verse 7, Amen. Says, but in the days Amen. of the voice mm -hmm. Amen. of the seventh messenger, Amen. Angel, 
All the mysteries, including the seven thunders, including the voices, including all that was sealed up, including the things that we did not able to understand in the book of life, the true water baptism, the true goddess, all the mysteries that were in the Bible, which were you were able to read, we could not understand it. Everything that was in the Bible was going to be opened up and it was going to be sold out. And when God was fulfilling that scripture, he had to send a man of the angel with the message. And that man that came was William Aaron Brenner. Amen. Amen. And in the life of William Aaron Brenner, as he was preaching the word of God, the mysteries were being opened. God said it was being opened. True water baptism was being opened. Hallelujah. What is going All the things that were hidden in the Bible was being opened. When you get to listen to the message and the sermons of William Aaron Branham, you get to hear and understand that it is not him himself, but it's Jesus Christ Amen. opening the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Because it was a life only. Hallelujah. William Branham went over to the uh, Sunset Mountain. Before he went, God gave him signs that this event was going to open. Because that was an event in the Bible. As long as it was in the Bible, before it was done, before it was done, it was just the word of God. But when it is done, it becomes the life of the word of God. Amen. Amen. So on 28th February 1963, while William while William Branham was hunting with his friends, one of the gyms that had been given, one of the gyms that had been given, was made manifest. All of a sudden, as he was about to pick up a cock, like a, like a, what do you call it? Like a, you should have called it cinema, but it's like a, a something that picks you. A sticker. A sticker, yeah, A sticker on his leg. Yeah, amen. Hallelujah. All of a sudden, Hanuma. Hanuma Yumba Yonduru. Amen. To fulfill. Revelation chapter 10. And William Branham was picked up and went into a cloud. Hallelujah. That's why I wanted to take this picture. Amen. In that cloud, there were seven angels going around. Hallelujah. And one of them was so mighty. He brings back Hallelujah. Amen. When I look at it, that's this just me. I always think of this one. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I don't know whether I'm right, brother. Amen. Amen. This one. Amen. 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 Amen.
And when you look at that angel, there's this white here. Amen. 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 You can see the whiteness here. The light is there. Amen. Hallelujah. And when you look at this picture, I curse. Amen. You can see as if it is the eyes there. Amen. You can see this picture was taken when it was like this. Uh, <laughs> You can see like ice is there. Like a nose there. And this becomes like a like touch. That's, that's, that's where the who. Uh, when you are praying to church, amen, in the cross. Like in the British system, the way this church is, this is it. Amen, and this looks like it's a beard. It almost looks like Hoffman's head of Christ. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. It almost looks like the picture of Christ in there. Amen. amen. To fulfill that the seven seals that have been sealed in the book were not being opened by William Marion Brown. They were being opened by Jesus Christ himself. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. Was told, uh, and he the seven seals. Mm. And he went to his tabernacle and he the seven seals. Now, I, I don't know why I'm saying this. Just say it, this last bit. The scriptures. If you have the chapter 10, verse 7, the days of the voice of the seven angels. Then the seven angels is William Branham. So in the days of William Branham, when he shall begin to sound begin to sound all the mysteries of God his ministry from the beginning of it up to the end was revealing the son of man Amen. Amen. so that's why this picture is so great important Amen. And it shows that light, which is the manifestation of the word of God, in this day, bringing us into a relationship with God. Amen. Bringing us into a reconciliation. The light of the reconciliation. Amen. I'm sorry, I'm not the preacher. So he's saying, I forgot he. Now we see the prophecy of Second Corinthians four six. Now, For God, who commanded the light to shine out of the darkness, has shined in our hearts. Amen. Amen. That was Paul. Now it's William Branham. To give the light. Of the knowledge Amen. of the glory uh, we, we, oh, we Amen. in the face of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, Amen. 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 Amen.
Amen. Amen. Amen. For God, Amen. who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, Amen. has shined in our hearts, in our hearts. Amen. Amen. to give Amen. the light Amen. of the knowledge, the, knowledge, the message of the hour, Amen. Amen. of the glory of God. Of the glory of God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 When this face, when this face, which was taken in 28 February 1963, when the light of it was being shown, it is the opening of the knowledge. That knowledge is the message yeah. that was being preached yes. by William Marion Brown. It was the sermons. Yeah, yeah. It was the teachings. Yeah, yeah. The secrets. Yeah, uh, yeah. The things written in the Bible. shown yeah. yeah. in the face. Amen. 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 In the face Amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So when Moses Amen. went into the pillar of fire Amen. on Mount Sinai, Amen. Amen. he went into the pillar of fire on Mount Sinai. Oh, Amen. And he comes out. He had a veil over his face. Right? Because of the glory of God. Mm. So when Brother Branham goes into the pillar of fire, mm. and he comes out, uh. Brother Branham himself is veiling the face of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. But Amen. the seven seals rips the veil off Amen. of the Jewish flesh of the prophet and we see the light that's behind the veil. Amen. Amen. Amen.